What is up, boys and girls? I hope you're having a great day, and I just realized my fraps has not been recording. But anyway, welcome back to my next episode of the Let's Play series. So today, we're going to be expanding our fractal base. I'm going to introduce you guys to the Ender Porter idea. We're going to visit these coordinates. And then, we're going to fix the sugarcane farm. Uh, so we have a few things to discuss. Right now I'm just getting some things ready so we can go to work in the fractal base. Uh, I just want to expand it a little bit. Um, but yeah, we have a little bit more to discuss than that actually. The last episode, I kind of forgot something. Uh, while we were mining, I did not actually check out that fossil. And uh, my sister was watching the video, and she told me, hey, there's a fossil down there, and you need to check it out. But, uh, first things first, real quick, we have a new villager. Uh, I think it's this guy right here. So, uh, let's just go ahead and put a composter down. See if one of them will transform. There, no. We might need another, actually. Uh, so let's just go ahead and make another composter real quick. And, uh, yeah, so I'm basically just getting another farmer so we can trade more melons next time, because it does take us quite a while to get to a higher level. Now there we go. That guy's wheat. Here, let's see what this guy's first trade is. So, I guess all of them will accept pumpkins, so we'll just throw that down right there, and uh, hope for the best. We're gonna have to trade them a lot of wheat, though. And, uh, by wheat, I mean wheat. So, let's do it again. Potatoes! Nope. He, he gave me the nod, but didn't do it. Um. There we go. Wheat. Alright, so that's awesome. Real quick, I would just like to announce the plans for this fractal base. So, in 1.16.2, we're currently on 1.16.1, for reference. Uh, in fabric launcher it's a uh, it's basically optifine gives me a zoom key but yeah the next update 1.16.2 it has actually already been released today but i still would like to have better fps um so we're using fabric that update releases something pretty new pretty cool it's called ender pearl Stasis chambers. Stasis chambers are pretty simple now. Uh, this is just a soul sand elevator, water elevator. And if we just throw our little buddy down there, you can see it's like that. So, it's just hovering at the top here. If we do this, we get teleported to it. And uh, so, Etho has been trying to do this in his world for a very long time. And until 1.16.2, it was really hard to do that. It worked, but if you went a certain amount of chunks away, it would unload. And then when you came back, it would just teleport you to it. Um, but now, if I was to do this, and I was to go really, really far away, and then come back, the ender pearl would it, like it. It would still be doing that. I didn't go far enough away for it to actually do anything. If I was in the old version, but yeah, basically though, we can use them as a method of transportation and teleportation. That would be very cool to just have. We could have like a little interface somewhere, and we could be able to teleport anywhere within this fractal base. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get started on expanding the space. So if we come around back here, you can see that if this gets super long, 
it'll take forever, and I mean forever, to get from one side to the other. I'm just gonna work on this for a while, and then I will catch you guys back here. Alright guys, so as I mentioned earlier, at those coordinates there is a fossil. So uh, let's see, here are the coordinates. Uh, negative 216, actually let's just go ahead and re reset our spawn point. Negative 216, so that's that way. Uh, 1047, so that's that way. Okay. And here it is. So uh, let's just go ahead and excavate it a little bit. Now, is it supposed to look like anything? Uh, I'm, I'm not really sure about these. Just I've never seen them before. Uh, but maybe there's something underneath. Oh. Oh, there's more. Very cool. All right, awesome. Uh, so I think we got all of that. Let's just light this area back up. So uh, yeah, 49 bone blocks. I uh, I see why that's helpful now. I literally thought it would have just been four, which would still be a lot of bone meal. All right, boys. Oh, that was that was stupid of me. I literally put that there for a reason. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about this because uh, there's a lot of sand and a lot of water. Hopefully, uh, we won't reach the water until we have to do the other hallway that connects. Um, but I guess we'll just go through it, and that should be fine. I knew we were going to come to the water eventually, but uh, I was not expecting it to be so soon. Alright guys, I know there wasn't really much recording slices of that going on, but... Uh, we have finished the next layer of the fractal base. So basically it's just these three, uh, the final ones over here. But the thing is, with this final one, I already showed you earlier, but uh, if we go ahead and make our way outside of here in Enderpearl, I mean in Enderman somewhere, um, Actually, oh, I also want to check that. Okay, it didn't really go up that much, but whatever. Um, and I want to leave this here. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we, we still have a lot of stuff left over for the next time. If we go ahead and we fly over here, you can see this. So uh, I'm going to just fill this in very quickly. And there we go, boys, just like new. Uh, now, let's go ahead and fly into our storage system and just clean up this orange shulker box. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, again, that's going to be our construction shulker box. And uh, that'll be helpful in the long run. Let's just put it in here because that's where I had my scaffolding before. So now we have another way of getting emeralds. Uh, let's just go ahead and grab as many pumpkins as we can and uh, try to max out these guys. So anyway, let's just wake this guy up. Hello, friend. And 
and he has not run out yet. Now he has. Okay, cool. Uh, so there we go. Let's see it. Awesome. So that gave us a decent amount. Let's check this guy out. Okay. And okay. So, you know what I think it's time to do? I think it's time to expand the farm. So uh, I'm going to get started on that and I will report back to you guys. So one investment would be a tree farm. Because this is what I'm doing 90% of the time I need wood. And uh, yeah. It would be a lot more convenient if we could just like put saplings down somewhere. Like okay, they're so easy to make. But uh, I guess what we have to do is find a location for it. So, at some point I'm going to do that. It'll probably be in between episodes because I feel like uh, that's not the most important thing and you guys won't uh, accuse me of cheating if I do that without you guys. Um, but at the same time, I might just like throw it in there as like a side clip like, hey, look what I did or something like that. Um, either way though, we need one, and uh, we'll get one soon. Well, that's it after the chat. I just made eight and I only need a four. There we are guys, that's going to take some time to grow, but uh, once it does, we'll have some more melons. Uh, I can probably go ahead and bone meal it now that I think about it. And the last thing we're going to do with this is just set, or change, sorry, change these to cobblestone. That'll just look a little bit better. Oh yeah. So we've grown it. And we need to get our glass out of here. Very cool. Uh, now we'll have a little bit more to trade with those villagers. And uh, we can expand it in the Y direction as well. But that's for a different day. I think we've worked on that enough. And yeah, now we uh, have enough emeralds to get another book. Uh, we can get another mending book. But uh, first I also want to upgrade these leggings. So let's go ahead and check out our armor, see if we have any other protection. So there's blast protection. These already have mending. But uh, I don't see any protection for. So let's just see if we can enchant some. And uh, I know I said that we would go mining, but with everything I already have planned for this episode, I think that will have to happen later. Let's go ahead and just check what these would be. Protection 3, that's perfect actually. And Unbreaking 3 too. So uh, we can just combine this with, uh, let's see, do we have any other? No. Okay, we can just combine this, this, and the ones we're wearing. So let's do that real quick. Okay. And 
and here we go. Protection 4 on our leggings. And since we have mending, we can honestly just go ahead and turn those into netherite as well. So let's see. Let's come over here. Grab some gold. And go to our smithing table. And uh, our long fall boots also have mending, so we can also go ahead and make these netherite. Uh, let's see. Let's just grab. Put two back in here. Four of these. And here we go. And there we are. I did not even know that was an achievement. That's pretty cool. There we go. Now we have one last thing in store for this episode, and it is going to take a while. Okay, when I say it's going to take a while, I mean it's going to be a couple seconds for you guys, but it's going to take me a while. Uh, let me go ahead and show you real quick. To our Oh! Hello! So, uh, we have actually got in a full shulker box of shuriken. Um, I don't know why that thing is... Oh, yeah, I do. So when you open it, it, uh, makes a clicking sound because of the observers. But, uh, there's nothing to be dispensed, and yeah. Uh, so this one, it doesn't really matter that we can't open it. It's just because I placed it the first time. Uh, so we're not even going to know how much is in this. But I'm completely okay with that. Um, anyway, this sugarcane farm is not too good just because of all the stuff that gets stuck. But one thing that would make it better is putting more observers in. And, uh, whew, I don't know. Let's see. I don't even remember how many layers there are. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. So there's six layers, and then each has one, two, three, four, five. Five, right? So that's automatically 30 that we've already made. And then uh, we multiply that by four. So about 120. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, this is going to be fun. I will, uh, I will be right back. All I basically need is cobblestone. And uh, yeah, then we should be fine. Because in here we do have a decent amount. Okay, not a decent amount. We used to have so much more. But uh, we do have some quartz. So the only thing we really need is cobblestone. So yeah, I'm going to get started on that. And uh, I will see you guys when it is complete. Man, oh man, I love not being able to get to the zombie spawner. Isn't that just wonderful? Uh, I'm not actually using the zombie spawner. I'm just trying to... Uh-oh. Don't want to run into any lava here. Uh, I'm not actually using the zombie spawner, though. What I'm trying to do is come up here so we can get some stone. I might actually have some cobblestone in one of these chests. A little bit. Just a little bit. So that gives us a tiny head start. Um, either way, it's going to take a while. So uh, we're just going to go through here and start mine for a bit. Okay, that was honestly a lot faster than I thought it would be. The tedious part is going to be placing all of the observers. But at least we have them now. Uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, actually, I want to show you guys this. I don't know if I've shown this before. But uh, we have a little water elevator over here. And this simply takes us... If I can get my elytra on. It simply takes us right in front of the base over here. Uh, let's go in and sleep for a little bit. Actually, let's go to this house. The house that I built and then rarely go into. Ah, I love waking up to this picture. 
And that sunrise and that donkey. What? Where did you come from? Okay. Um. And our finished flo Totally finished. Yeah, you didn't see that. Totally finished. Our finished floor up there. Isn't it beautiful? Our nice carpet. Now, I might have done my math a little bit wrong. But uh, let's just go ahead and see if we actually have any more quartz. There we go. Not exactly where I put it, but I did remember. Uh, that should be enough. Let's just put that back in there. Got a little bit stuck. Okay. So yes, we do have enough. Uh, now we just need our redstone. My bad. And uh, if this is an overestimate, I suck. That's that's about it. That's all I can say for that one. Now we should have enough. Awesome. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna try to figure out a nice way to place these down without completely taking an hour or two to do. But, uh, I mean, either way, it's not gonna take that long. The reason I'm doing this is because, like, like this one right here, they've all grown except for the one in the middle. So that just makes it take more time uh, when instead, if that one just popped already, those could have grown so many times in the time that it takes that middle one to grow. And now we have completed the bottom layer. Uh, still 36 left over, so I don't, I don't know where my math came from, but uh, it was definitely not correct. Uh, but yeah. We've only picked up like 10 sugarcane, 13 sugarcane, um, probably more to come soon, and uh, this thing's a little bit laggy, but I feel like it will work a lot better than it was, um, especially now that we have all the observers, and uh, yeah, so there's 24 right there. So much of it gets stuck on the sand, it's really annoying, but now there's really not much I can do. Um, I still like the design, I think it's cool, I think it just needs some work for the next time I ever do this. <laughs> so uh, I, wish, I wish I could see how much is in that. But I know it's not too much at the moment. However, I am going to AFK here for a little bit. And, uh, yeah. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. This has been Dishword, and I will see you guys in the next one.